Hey guys and welcome to the final part of Let's Play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Defiance on the Nintendo DS. In the last part we did a tank mission that was horrible and... Yeah. Russian forces are pulling back and attempting to secure the weapons cache. Intel indicates these weapons are being transported to the West Dock. You must secure the weaponry. Those weapons are their strongest assets in taking key structures throughout the nation. It'll be a cold day in hell before we let them take any more. Move it! Who knows what kind of weapons they got? So yeah, I was being quiet there to let you hear the guys talking, although I don't think they really thought that through because the bullets were a lot louder than the guy talking, but in summary, the Russians have a weapon, they're the bad guys, don't let them have that weapon, so yeah, we're now chasing after the Russians to get whatever weapon they have, which the Americans have no idea, like no idea what that weapon is. So it's pretty weird that... Like, everyone's so set. I was like, we can't let them have that weapon, whatever it is. We don't know. It could just it could just be, like, trying to kill us with kindness. I, I don't know what that weapon is. So. so this is the final mission, so it's actually quite tricky. As you saw there, I just died. Um, I left that in just because I have no idea how I died. Um, I'm assuming, because it's Call of Duty, you heal. And I, I assumed I was fully healed, but apparently not. Maybe an enemy just shot me in the head, I don't know, but... Yeah, this is a pretty hard mission, and even though you're supposed to be running after the Russians and trying to track them down, just take your time. Um, there's no real reason to rush, to rush in, to... There's no need to rush in. Yeah, okay. But yeah, you gotta just... There's no need to, like, charge in and shoot everyone. You're not on a timer or anything. And if you run in, there's a lot of enemies from a lot of different angles, so you are going to get killed. So just take your time, I think would be my main advice. Oh, on this bit anyway, because this mission is actually pretty short overall. Uh, I made a few edits and a few cuts because I died a few more times, but yeah, just take it slow. I'm not too sure why I have the Scorpion. I mean, the Scorpion's an okay weapon, but yeah, if they gave me the AUG, this mission would have just been awesome. Because I could have taken everyone down, it would have been cool. So what we have to do here now, there's a tank over there, so now you get forced to have a little RC XD section, which this bit took me forever. Like, well, first of all, when I was playing this, one reason I had to do the edit was because um, the game froze. Uh, I'm guessing that's just my emulator and ROM, but yeah, when I, when I first went into the RC XD, the game froze, so I had to reset my game. And, Luckily it just saves at checkpoints just like the console version, so if you quit, if I quit now I would, and then loaded it up later, I would be at the exact same point where the checkpoint was, so. But then, I can't remember, but I just had a lot of trouble with that section for some reason. I think I just kept being shot because there's quite a lot of enemies around. And also, um, don't run in. Um, yeah, the tank will shoot and blow up your car. Your little R RCXD. So, wait for a second, wait for the tank to shoot, and then go. Don't just go because the tank will just shoot you and just blow you up. And now I just thought for a laugh I'll try their gun out, whatever this gun is. It looks like something from World at War, honestly, not <laughs> Modern Warfare, but I thought I'd try it out. And it was actually okay, it's an okay weapon. I didn't hate it, I, uh, <laughs> it did a good job, but still I thought I'd better stick with the Scorpion. It's more of a classic, you know. So yeah, see as you can see, tight corridors here, so you are going to have to just be careful. And just watch your step, guys, alright? So, as a final level in this game, it, it's okay. You know, uh, I would have liked them to do something like different, because what we're doing in this level is pretty much the exact same as the rest of the game, not really doing anything new. I guess we're fighting in a port, but we already did that last time. So I, I would have liked if it something been something a bit different, like how in Black Ops you had that submarine, uh, with COD 4 you had like get to the room and then have the little car bit and then that really cool section there. And in COD 6 you had the, um, you had to pull that knife out of yourself <laughs> using a quick time event and COD 6, yeah, you know the list kind of goes on but of course this is a DS game so you can have a big cinematic ending. You know, it was always going to be a bit simple, but ah, it would have been nice, you know. Like how in Modern Warfare 3 that you have the Juggernaut suit, the Juggernaut suit. That would have been pretty cool if they just completely ripped off that section and had it so you were, like, 
mowing, going through the Russians in a juggernaut suit, but again, like I've said earlier, like I'm not too sure exactly how much input <laughs> and space got when making this game from Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer, how much they actually talk and how much they kind of work together to make this game. Because there was, there's got to be some input in there, but there's nothing in this game that's really taken from Modern Warfare 3, which I think is pretty interesting. It's all taken from older Call of Duty games. There's nothing like, oh, that's like a similar sequence in the latest one. So now I'm going to make a little jump cut because this is the final section of the game. The final section of the level, final section of the game. And it's very, very irritating. I was only playing on regular. But what you have to do, run up here, shoot this guy, grab this RPG, and take out that helicopter. Now, it looks super simple when I did it, but I'm going to shut up now because they're going to talk about how war and all that. So yeah, that's it. That's the game. Um, yeah, that final section, if you just stand around too long and try and shoot everyone that's there, you just get, you won't do it in time and the helicopter will fly off. Because the helicopter, there are three helicopters. Um, one just flies off and it doesn't matter. One is the one I shot at first, which is one you have to blow up. And then one helicopter stays to shoot at you. So if you don't run there and kill that guy quickly, because there's actually two people with RPGs. And they can just kill you straight away when you go around the corner as well. They'll both just fire at you and kill you straight off. So that bit's very irritating, but you can do it if you, you know, try enough. So so in case you can really hear the audio in that, they're saying how Russians have been pushed out from a few places in America. But next they're going to strike New York. So what that means is that this mission is set right before Black Tuesday, the very first mission in Modern Warfare 3. So this all takes place before any of the events in Modern Warfare 3 and interesting enough actually directly goes into it. So you'll play this level and then it, it's pretty cool actually. It's quite cool to have like, oh the tr this is what the troops were doing in between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. This is what they did. They were fighting the Russians across America. Sure, the storyline isn't that engaging because there's not a lot to it, but this is what, it's quite cool that they actually go into the war a bit. Because despite it being World War 3, or leading up to and then eventually being World War 3, they don't really go into the strategy and the tactics and how each side is fighting too much, you know? You just jump into each, just jump into a troop and now you're controlling that troop and you know, you ha the main part of it is actually the storyline of Captain Price and Soap. That's the main storyline, not the global conflict, which I think is pretty interesting. And it's nice that they have a game like this to kind of go into it a bit more, even if they don't really explain a whole lot, just to know exactly what's going on in America during like when Soap and Price are doing their thing. It's it's pretty cool. So that's it. That's the end of the LP. Um, probably won't be doing any bonus parts there's quite a lot more to play of course there's the multiplayer but I won't be playing that and then there's a challenge mode and a quick play mode a quick play mode will just jump you into a random campaign mission and then you'll just play it and then challenge mode is you know just your standard challenge mode you have to do some challenges I don't think it's that good though so I won't be doing any videos in that so so overall I kinda like this game of course it was very short um, Technically for the DS it was great. It's kind of weird that they didn't release it on the 3DS, but I can kind of see why. Um, probably expect the next Call of Duty to be on the 3DS, I would say. I don't think they can get away with making it on the DS, although although they're still making Pokemon games for the DS, so I don't know, maybe. But I kind of liked it, uh, had a nice variety to it. The controls were well done, even if they weren't perfect. Uh, the voice acting was alright. Um, yeah, it, it, as a portable Call of Duty game, like a game you can just turn on anywhere, on a train or whatever, it, it was pretty fun. I, I kind of liked it. I thought it was, 
Sure, it didn't have that many too original moments in it, but I liked it. You know, I enjoyed it, even if some of the missions were kind of a bit boring, and if the tank and the tank mission that was just terrible, it was still pretty good. I, I guess half of it is like I excuse some of the flaws because it is the DS version, which I have no idea if that's fair to do or not. Because, like, is it fair to excuse a handheld game because it's on the handheld and not on a console? You know, you know. Like, this game you'll compare to the console versions, but I could also have a DS and pick up, say, I don't know, like, Chrono Trigger DS, and, or a Zelda game, and that has a massive long story, like, has a big storyline, very long game, great combat, and all that, so, I don't know, I don't know if it's fair, I do kind of excuse it because it's on the handheld, so, yeah, I mean, I wish I could try out the multiplayer, I guess I should pick up a copy for myself and try that out, but, so I don't know if I'll do any more of these, um, I'd like to know what you guys think if I should LP any more Call of Duty DS games. Um, eventually I might, would like to do one of the console ones as well, but I don't know when that would be. That won't be for a good few months. So I don't know, maybe I'll do another DS Call of Duty. I want to know what you guys think because I, I kind of like playing it. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know how the others play or if they're probably about the same kind of deal, but I don't know if you guys are kind of interested in it, you know. If you guys are like, oh yeah, I want to see how they handled the other ports and the other different um, DS versions and see what they did. Because they're all new original missions, but but then maybe it might be like, you know, okay, we've seen one Call of Duty DS game, we, we get the idea, I don't know how that is. So, yeah, quite like to know what you guys think. I'm not bothered either way. I won't go into another one straight away. I, I'm not too sure what I'm actually going to do with my next side LP, but I, I don't know, so... So I don't really have that much to say. There's a stupid amount of credits. And seeing how Endspace Endspace's credit was like right at the beginning, it's kind of strange that it's now it's kept going. I guess it makes sense because they only made like a lot of people and a lot of money is put into the Call of Duty games. You make one every year, although two years for everyone for Infinity Ward and Endspace. So uh, Infinity Ward and Treyarch. So anyway, I've been Arsenal23, uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope you can, if you like this LP, subscribe to me, that would be very nice, and thanks to everyone that stayed tuned for all 10 parts, and I will see you on another LP. Alright, see you later guys.